Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at the symbolism inside of this State Farm commercial called the State of Unrest. Many people are talking about this as they worry that the USA is descending into a violent, chaotic period with many different events happening and many people not even being able to tell if they're staged or not and then other incidents getting out of control with the police and the public and the rioting and that we're, the whole nation seems to be heading for this time of unrest. And it seems like it is all planned, even with this Operation Jade Helm being planned with military equipment and soldiers being moved into different states and such, and that it just seems like we're all nearing some type of event like this. Well, in the Bible, it talks of the Daughter of Babylon, meaning the USA, and the Vatican, which is known as Mystery Babylon, being torn down by violence when a mighty angel cast down a great millstone into the sea and then a beast rises up out of the sea with ten nations see the beast out of the sea some have even stated that this could be aliens that the great millstone could be like a UFO saucer of when Michael and his angels fight against the dragon and his angels and cast Satan down to earth to be revealed the millstone that is cast down and then the USA and the Vatican are destroyed by violence because these things are as spiritual natures. Even if there is a UFO that crashes, all of our evidence shows, even if we destroy it, that it's a spiritual things will be released. Almost like releasing genies and gins from the bottle that they were contained in through there. And that's, that's what's coming. As that millstone comes, these spiritual entities and the locust of Revelation 9 will be released upon the earth. And mankind will actually go crazy and begin to kill one another. Just as happens here. When the second horseman rides, there's war. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. Just as the riots and things are going on. He just causes people to start killing each other. Literally. Civil war. War. Husbands killing wives. Okay, let's take a look at the commercial. Yeah, I'm married doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Oh, it's Jake from State Farm. This sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing? Jake from Planet State Farm. Uh, khakis? She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. Well, there you go. They talk of the 11th, but we don't know about dates. Now, this has been shown to us over and over and over again. The brand new Avengers movie, The Age of Ultron. It shows the, the Ultron character cutting out a piece of the Earth and taking it high in the sky and trying to drop it on the Earth like a meteor. And it's shaped just like a great millstone. See right here, this great millstone? when the mighty angel cast down Satan and the great millstones cast into the sea, which some have equated it to, it could be UFOs. Because we're nearing what's known as the fifth age of the Bible. This hangs in the Denver International Airport and they show this thing here coming, this ship with this individual sleeping inside of here and all of these nukes hitting this one spot right here as this individual shows up and it ends up meeting this rock. See these bricks and this rock? And it meets right there and then they get the sword for World War III. Peace is taken from the earth right in front of us right there. It's in the Denver International Airport showing all of that coming. This is in the United Nations. When this nuclear football hits, see how this looks like an egg? The marriage of the lamb happens. The beast receives his grievous head wound. These people, the Christians, go up here to heaven. And then the lukewarm and all go over here for the time of the testing. This individual is coming. That's why you saw the color red. When the, the blue guy was trying to be tricked, see the side of the blue, Israel and Jacob and, and immortality. And over here to the red, the red side was trying to trick them. See this guy sitting right here? He's the beast with the woman that rides him. See how he's sitting in that telescope? He's been shown in many, many, many different movies as an alien or even as the Doctor Who character. In this Prometheus movie this ship crashes 
and starts rolling like a giant millstone and goes after the woman, exactly as in the Bible. This is the thing that he sits in, the Prometheus engineer, the Satan character trying to control the world. From in here in his seat, he can control people around the world, many, many, many different people, as he sits in his chair. See him there? That represents an eye. See the eye? He is the eye of the beast, right there. And he's looking right through, and that's what he does for like possession and things and such. He's coming. He's going to lose his ship all through there. In the next video, I'm going to leave this video short. In the next video, I'm going to show right where it crashes and everything. We know all these things. We've tracked them. This is a set of paintings by Peter Waddell for the Freemasons. And it shows the New World Order coming in an old-fashioned way. Here's the Satan figure coming, the red, rising up as this character, representing Obama, is moved out of the way. He takes over. See the Satan figure sitting on the earth? And then the father figure, George Washington, in the blue, is sitting over here, representing Jesus' plant and age and the place prepared for us. And then this is the foot of God and Jesus Christ having its heel bruised as it bruised the beast's head. And this urn is being opened, Pandora's urn. That was shown in this movie. In this movie, this guy has all of those urns and will open them up and it shows little worms coming out and they will be put into everybody and it will control them. And it's shown right here on the Economist magazine cover. Here's the ten nations that will side with the beast, China and all, and there's the worms, just like the noodles right there. And here's the woman caught away with the wings of a great eagle. Next we will show how this earthquake is meant to happen. An 11.5 earthquake is actually going to bury this ship. We, we've mapped all this out before. We're, the the video is going kind of long. I didn't want it to be very long. Sorry. So we'll make a second part for people that want to go hardcore and really see the deeper things that's going, that's going on. So there's the ship. He's coming to bring violence. He's going to have everything tear down, just as in the, the Bible it says here. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone cast it into the sea, saying, Thus will violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. That's Michael and his angels casting down the Satan figure. That's this one. War in heaven means war on earth. Michael and his angels fight. That UFO or that stone falls. Exactly as in the Age of Ultron movie. Then they start blending man with machine. Guess what they did in the Age of Ultron movie that just came out? They blended man with machine. Thank you very much, everybody. This is real and right in front of us. Something's coming. We don't know the time or date, but a spiritual force is coming that will cause people to kill one another and just bring chaos across the world, causing World War III and even just people will just start actually going crazy. That's what has been shown. God have mercy on us all. And it's all going to be these alien watcher types things, which are really fallen angels. God have mercy. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. The angel, Michael and them, are ready to cast down the great millstone. God have mercy. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Oh, Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? This is Jake. From State Farm. What are you wearing? Jake from Planet State Farm. Uh, khakis? She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state.